Hello everyone and welcome. With Witch Queen here and the new raid less than a day away, I wanted to at least upload something that would be helpful. I might not be breaking down the numbers as much here and I'm sorry if you're disappointed a particular weapon or perk hasn't been tested, but better to provide something than nothing at all. Thankfully, all damage numbers against Kali appear to be the same as before Witch Queen, so I can compare directly to previously tested weapons without having to actually test them again. So what we'll be looking at is the new Parasite Grenade Launcher. This deserves a whole video by itself, but that would take too long, so expect it at a later date. Palomara B with hard launch, impact casing, ambitious assassin and lasting impression, and then the same again but explosive light. No enhanced perks here as not only are they too costly for me at the minute, but so far at first glance I'm not sure they're actually worth the investment. Then it's Red Herring with similar perks again, that being hard launch, impact casing, ambitious assassin, but frenzy in the final column. Then it's the Typhong GL5 grenade launcher with spike grenades, demolitionist and frenzy. After that, it's some familiar faces, so Sleeper Simulant, Whisper of the Worm, The Lament, as I haven't tested that for a long time, and thought I would just in case the new raid has a close-up encounter, followed by a previously tested Hothead with impact casing and explosive light. And finally, Ascendancy starting with two in the opening chamber due to Ambitious Assassin. These are the weapons that will at least be on the graph. For those who haven't seen my YouTube post, it appears the changes to rocket launchers have only altered the impact damage, while Blast remains the same as last season. All testing was in a Lunar Well, every legendary had a boss spec mod, there was nothing to boost reserves and no Wolfpack rounds here, but I will touch on those during the graph and give some predictions. Quickly covering damage now, starting with Parasites. Like I've already said, this could benefit from a video of its own, but that will follow if it's something you want to see. Here, I'm just going to test with Worms Hunger at times 20 for the first round, or Worm, and nothing after that. I could hold 7 in total with nothing to boost reserves, so not that many. However, this has a comical amount of damage from the first opening round, so as you'll see soon, it gives a huge lead. Next is Palmyra B, first with Lasted Impression, which did 7,083 impact, 29,687 blast damage, and I could hold 7 rockets in reserves with nothing to boost that. And with Explosive Light, impact was 8,801, Blast was 29,687, and of course this was tested over 7 rockets as well, the final of which was without Explosive Light, and came in at 7,083 impact and 23,749 blast. And now Red heading with Frenzy. Impact for this was 9,002 and Blast was 27,312. This again was tested over base reserves of 7 rockets, and a table is coming onto screen now to break that down, along with Palmyra B. And now it's Typhon, something I was especially interested in as it has very good perks for DPS and I also haven't tested grenade launchers for a long time. Impact was 3,954 and Blast was 9,589. While this can hold 17 in base reserves, it holds 5 in each magazine, so I've only tested over 3 full mags and excluded the final 2 rounds so the average DPS figure isn't skewed. The reload between the first and second mag was using Demolitionist, and while the grenade damage isn't a lot and I can't test for all types, I'm just going to use the numbers from a Warlock Sticky Grenade, which did 100 damage upon impact and 12,801 blast. When we get to the timings, I'll be grouping all this damage with the first grenade fired from the second mag. It won't be exact, but the difference will be negligible even on the graph. The final average figure also won't be affected. So I'm going to quickly cover the damage for Hothead and Ascendancy, as the change to rocket launches has only altered impact damage, not blast. As for the timings, well, these have already been covered and that aspect hasn't changed, so it won't be detailed specifically here. Hothead with Explosive Light did 9,725 impact and Blast was 29,687. I've increased the impact by 10% to get this, as my Hothead doesn't actually have impact casing. For Ascendancy, with Explosive Light, impact was 8,801, while Blast damage 29,687. Both of these were tested over base reserves as well, so 7 rockets, meaning the final from both was without Explosive Lights. A table is coming onto screen now to break all that down. So Sleeper Simulant and Whisper of the Worm have been covered already in previous videos, so I won't be breaking their numbers down here, but the Lament is something that hasn't been tested for a while, so I followed a pattern that started with a full heavy cycle, which was 3 light heavy attacks, and then a heavy heavy attack, and then the pattern was just 4 ordinary swinging light attacks, followed by that same full heavy attack combo, if that makes sense. The full method consisted of 5 heavy attack cycles ending on the 5th. Damage numbers against Kali have been on screen, but I'll summarise all that as best as I can with the table coming up now. So timings, what I'm going to do is compare the four new legendary weapons together, so both Palmyra's, Red Heron, Typhon, and then do a side-by-side -side comparison between the Lament and Parasite. The former's first, and the grenade launcher actually does incredibly well for the opening mag, and the reload from a thrown grenade means it can almost maintain that lead through the second magazine, and still holds up quite well for the third. Explosive Light Palmyra and Frenzy Red Heron do jump ahead after each rocket, but the GL tends to get back ahead while they're reloading while Lasted Impression is always behind everything. 
Now the grenade launcher actually comes out on top for DPS, but that's because it can fire 15 rounds so fast. Its total damage is poor in comparison, meaning you'd only want to use this for very short damage phases, such as less than 10 seconds or so. Reserve mods will help of course, but remember the longer it's firing, the more the rocket launchers will close in as you drift away from the early advantage of Demolitionist. Unless you have two grenade charges, in which case this could be a really strong option. Now, two exotics, Parasite and an old favourite of mine, the Lament. The Parasite has huge damage on the opening worm, and that is evident. Each one after is much less, and it's just a question of how long before the Lament catches up, which is around the point I was reloading between the 4th and 5th round. The back and two a little before the Lament gets ahead, stays ahead, and does average slightly better sustained DPS. But that truly huge burst DPS from Parasite is much more apparent on the graph, as you'll see in a moment. First up will be Palmyria B with lasting impression. I've included this not because it's good, but to raise awareness that in my opinion, it's actually quite bad unless total damage is the priority, which will be dictated by the number of reserves and the length of a damage phase. Next is Palmyra again, but with explosive lights. This mirrors Ascendancy, but for reasons I can't confirm and didn't have time to investigate or correct, Ascendancy gains a small advantage in timing as its first couple of rockets detonate sooner, which shouldn't be the case. That aside, as you'll see when everything else is on the graph, these two have arguably the second highest burst DPS out of everything, but do gradually fall behind the exotics as time goes on. Now for redheading with Frenzy, and I'm genuinely sorry to say, but there's another anomaly. The reload between the second and third rocket is too long. When looking back over footage, there's a longer delay than usual after the second rocket's been fired, but when the reload animation begins. Another thing I didn't have time to correct as it was noticed too late. These are the woes of creating a detailed video as quickly as possible in time for the raid release while on very limited free time. Again, I do apologize and will endeavor to ensure this doesn't happen again in future. Other than that, it performs very well at the start, but the lower damage per rocket in comparison to the explosive light variant means it quickly falls behind. I'd personally like to see Frenzy's nerf from 20 to 15% reversed. Pothead with explosive light still manages to just about pull ahead slowly, which is due to the Witch Queen buff that's currently only affecting impact and not blast. And now Typhon, which does a surprisingly good job of staying with the rocket launchers. It's ahead of Red Heading Frenzy more than it's behind, and never drops below lasting impression. But that's like saying something along the lines of, a Formula 1 driver had a good race because they beat a person on a push bike. While Typhon might have a high DPS value, its total damage is poor, meaning it's the short amount of time to fire 15 grenades that pushes the average value up. As I've said earlier, reserve mods can help fix the problem, but that will then lower DPS as you're firing for longer. Swings and roundabouts, but I think this will always be able to hold its own against the rocket launchers, even if I test it with more than reserves. And now Parasites. Any worms fired without the worms hunger buff do okay damage, but that immense amount of damage inflicted by the first when the buff is at times 20, gives a huge lead that is enough to keep it ahead of everything, for now at least, until the 5th round. It won't be a great choice for long damage periods, as is the case with Typhon, but unlike Typhon, for anything under 10 seconds, Parasite can't be beat. And finally, it's the Laments, which was often a burst DPS king in the early days, but they're long gone now, and it can't really make any significant ground over the rocket launchers until around 5 seconds, but if there's one thing this weapon is when it comes to damage numbers, it's consistent. Whereas other weapons start to fall off due to an advantage at the start only, rockets with two in the opening chamber for example, the Lament just keeps going and doesn't have any point where things slow down, and that consistency means after 10 seconds or so, it's a clear winner over everything as far as I'm concerned, which it should be as it's high risk, high reward. So, Wolfpack rounds. Time limitations stop me including these, but I have tested these previously. Those results are the basis for my following predictions of how these rocket launchers would have performed here. Much better burst DPS, creating an even larger lead over the exotics, and then almost matching them for sustained DPS. They will still fall short on total damage without reserve mods, but if you're using reserve mods, then you can always do the same for the exotics. The increased burst DPS won't be enough to get close to Parasite. Between each of the rocket launches themselves, again, when including Wolfpack rounds, Explosive Light I expect will still be at or near the top, followed closely by Frenzy, and they won't increase blast damage enough to pull lasting impression out of the gutter. So, to sum up, the all-round best options, in my opinion, particularly for long-term, sustained DPS and especially total damage, are three well-known exotics, the Lament, Sleeper Simulant, and Whisper of the Work. 
For the best burst DPS, it's clearly Parasite. For good burst DPS and a little sustain, but poor total damage, rocket launchers, specifically those with explosive light and two in the opening chamber. And of course also Typhon, which I'd say falls into that category as well. And if there's a damage phase of 15 seconds or less and you want to handicap yourself in the raid race, you can always use a lasting impression rocket launcher. Again, apologies for the anomalies and possibly not testing some things you might have liked to see. A certain weapon, perk, volatile rounds, etc. I will get to those eventually. And that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I especially hope it was helpful. Best of luck to those going for world first. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.